hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by always thank you for your support so today i want to share with us how we can um net seed bead over ball beads how we can net this seed beads to cover this ball bead all right that it will be as if this ball bead is uh, is inside a seed bead i hope i'm communicating so i have my beads here right here i have um 08 seed bead all right and i also have my ball beads you can make use of any bit of your choice i have three types here i'm going to use it to explain to us better i have my um fire line i have um 0.40 here and i also have 0.30 this 0.30 is what we are going to use for our working but this one i'm going to use it to make measurement of the ball bead that is going to go around uh, of the seed bead that is going to go around this uh ball bead all right and i also have my cutter that is just the materials we need for this tutorial our seed bead board bead um fire line and our quarter and also working needle that is just it so before we start i need to use this seed bead to make measurements of how many ball beads how many seed beads sorry is going around this ball bead the size of the seed bead that is going to cover this ball bead i hope i am communicating so without wasting much of our time let's get started so now i have cut out um my um fire line size um 0.40 as you can see this is 0.40 so we are going to now uh, make the measurements of the bead of the seed bead that is going to go around our uh ball bead all right so to make measurements i hold the two the end of the fire line both end and i'm going to pick this three seed bead i'm going to put it like so on the right hand side three like so one two three i put it on the right hand side drop it and i'm going to pick one seed bead and put it in any of the any of the fire line and this one seed bead that i pick i'm going to pass the um, left hand fire line into it like so to cross it over as you can see and i cross it and i'm going to pull it down you see that you pull it down So once I pull it down, this is what it will look like, like a cross, cross sign, as you can see. So I pull it down like so. So I'm going to hold both ends again, both ends, and I'm going to pick two seed beads, one on the right hand and one on the left hand. All right. So I drop it down like so, and I'm going to pick one seed bead, and I'm going to put it in any of the fire line any one of it either the right or the left and and i'm going to cross it like so cross it like so sorry see i'm going to cross it like so and after i cross both fire line in the seed bead i'm going to pull it down and this is what we have all right I'm going to repeat the same process. I pick both ends of the fire line, all right? I pick two seed beads, one seed bead on the right hand and one on the left hand, all right? One here, one here. I pull it down and I'm going to pick one seed bead and then cross it. cross both line on the in the one seed bead that will pick and I'm going to pull it down also so once we pull it down this is what our work should look like you see so I'm going I'm still going to repeat the same process let me show us one more time pick both ends of the fire line all right pick two seed bead one on the right hand one on the left hand all right drop it pick one seed bead and then cross both fire line on the 
in the seed bed, just like so. Pull it down, all right? So I'm going to continue this process until I get to the length that I want. Then I'll be right now, back. Now, here's what I've got. So I've, I've um, matched it to this length, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do is just to tie this end like so. Just to secure it from losing, all right? So now, this stand as our measurement for the beads all right now let me show you how you can use this to measure to measure the count of the seed bead that is going to go around this ball bead after we make this now we are going to place it in the middle like so in the middle because the middle side is the widest um, part of this bead all right so we use it to measure it like so so we can know the count of seed bead we are going to pick so now this is the middle part of it. I have used it to measure it. Now you try to see it. This is the amount of seed bead that go around the bead. So just use your finger to hold it like so, so you can count. Now this is where our bead, uh, the count of the seed bead is. All right, so now we are going to count. Let me show you, this is it. All right, this is the length. So now let's count. We have one. You count from the side, all right? Not the middle one, the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right? We have um, eighteen counts. This is where it stops the side all right this is where we are counting now so we have 18 counts of um seed bead that go around this bead but if we are working with this bead we have to count as well the middle side is the middle point is where we are going to measure just have to be careful with it and this is it we have this this is the amount of seed bead that is going around this size of bead. Now, let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 count is going around this bead. Why 18 count is going around this bead? And also this. Let's see. If it is this size of seed bead we are using, we have to... Make sure it is in the middle. And this is the point. All right. Now, let's count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, 11 count is going for this. 13 is going for this. While 18 is going for this. I hope I am communicating. I hope we understand. So now, I have caught... Um, my 0 0.30 fire line and i pass it into my working needle so what we are going to do now because the size of the count of seed bead that go around this bead is 18 we are going to pick 18 seed beads all right so now we have 18 counts of seed bead here all right so what we are going to do is just to pull it down pull it down like so leave some extra fire line all right leave some extra fire line down all right and then what we are going to do now is to pass our needle through the 18 seed bead so we pass our needle through the 18 seed beads so this is it so the next thing to do is to knot it we are going to knot it like so. So we have formed a loop. All right, this is it. We form a loop, and the next thing we are going to do now. This is the extra 
fire line that is our thread all right so now what we are going to do now this is the thread we are working with now we are going to pass our needle through some beads depending on the it can pass it through any amount of beads all right so i pass it through five seed bead like so all right pick three seed bead all right and then this is where our fire line is coming out from, as you can see. This is the bead that our fire line is coming out from. So we are going to pass our needle from behind, the back of the bead that our fire line is coming out from. I hope we can see it clearly. So this is it. We pass it out like so and pull it. So after we pull it, this is what we should have. You can see from our measurement, it looks like our measurement, the cross sign. We have four. One, two, three, four. All right. So this is how it should look like. So the next thing we are going to do is, this is where our fire line is coming out from this bead. The middle one is where our fire line is coming out from. So what we are going to do now is to pass our needle out through the next bead through the next bead without picking any seed bead all right pull it out and this is what we've got all right our fire our, our thread now is coming out from this bead now what we are going to do we are going to pick we are going to pick two seed bead all right two not three now two all right because we have four here we are still going to make four form here all right our loop here is four and we are still going to make the next one to be four. So we have to pick two because already now we have our fire line coming out from this place. So we are going to pass our needle from this bead, this side bead here, from the fourth, the, the four loop. We are going to pass our needle from this bead here out through the, the bead where our thread is coming out from. I hope we can see. So we pass it out like so. And this is what we've got. As you can see, now we have um, four here. And now this one also is four, if we count. This is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, as we can see. So the next thing now we are going to do is to pass our needle again. This is where our line is coming out from. We pass it out through the next bead, like so, all right? Once that is done, we are going to pick another two seed bead all right and we are still going to walk through the same process this is where our line is coming out from pass your needle through the side bead here and to the next bead where our line is coming out from all right pull it and this is it this is where our line is coming out from we repeat the same process pass our needle out through the next bead all right pick another two seed bead pass your needle through the side bead down to where our line is coming out from like so so also we are going to pick two seed bead like so all right and also we are going to pass our needle through the side bead and to where our fire line is coming out from. Once that is done, we are going to pass our needle out through the next bead also, like so. So this is how it is looking like, as you can see. So I'll continue the same process until I get to this point. Two seed bead. Now this is the last part. All right, I have one bead. I see have one bead here. So I pass my needle from the side bead down to where my needle is coming out from. My thread, sorry, is coming out from. So 
So now to cover this part, to cover this part, this part, this place need one more bead. So I'm going to pass my thread down to the last bead. And also up right here. All right. You see that, guys? So I need one more bit to cover this place. So I'm going to just pick one bead, just one only. One. Then I'll pass my needle from this bead down to the last bead. The last this is the last bead of this loop this is the last bead of this loop so i pass my needle from this side to the last bead all right i pick one just like so pull it out and this is what we've got so if we count this bead now if we count this side bead is still going to give us 18 counts all right 18 just like this one just like the loop that we counted 18 this side also is still going to give us 18 counts if we count it all right so now to start the second step to start the second step i'm going to pass my thread up this is it so i'm going to pass my thread up like so and then i'm going to start another step all right so i'll pass my needle down right here just like when we started this is it so this is where my line is coming out from now my thread or my fire line all right now what I'm going to do, because we are starting, I'm going to pick three seed bead because we are starting another layer. I'm going to pick three seed bead, pass my needle from the back of this bead that the line is coming out from. You see now we have four counts another loop just exactly as we started so i have four so now this is it this is the line this is the thread i'm going to pass my needle through the next one like so pull it out so now we are going to pick two seed beads we repeat the same process we only pick three seed bead when we are starting another layer, all right? And from there, we start picking two seed beads. So I pick two seed bead, pass my needle through the side bead of this loop, down to the next bead where my line or my thread is coming out from. You see now we are we have started another layer as you can see so we have our four counts here we have our four counts here so the next thing to do also is to pass our needle through the next bead pick two seed bead the same process Two seed bead. Pass our needle through the next one. Pick two seed bead. 
again repeat the same process so i continue this process also until we get to this point all right now so this is our last bead now this is our last bead this is where the line is coming out from that is the thread so this is our last bit. So we need to cover this place up now. So what we are going to do is to pass our needle through the last bead up. Through the last bead and to this bead. So we can cover this place to have our four counts. I hope I am communicating. As you can see now, we need to cover this place up to have a bead like this right here so what we are going to do now is to pick just one bead and we work through this one two three these three beads all right so we pick one bead like so so where the line is coming out from you can see that this is the bead we pick then i pull it out And that is that we are done with the second layer all right we are done with the second layer now to start the third layer as well we are still going to pass our needle to this bead right here so now this is it what we are going to do now because we are starting another step we are going to pick three seed beads we are going to pick three seed beads because we are starting another step right now. So we pass our needle just the way we have been working. All right, like so. Now you see we have started another step. So as you can see, we have started another layer. You see, this is the, this is the third layer the third step all right so we repeat the same process pass our needle through the next bead pick two seed bead now we start picking two seed bead like so see what we've got Pass our needle also through the next bead. Pick two seed bead. Repeat the same process. Can as well go through the next bead immediately. All right. Pick two seed bead. So I go through the next bead immediately, all right? So we continue the same process until we cover the third layer as well, until we get to the length we want, all right? And I will be right back. And we are done with the third layer. As you can see now, the, the length is going up, all right? so once we are done this is how it is going to look like all right we are going to insert the bead inside so keep watching i recommend you don't skip so you don't miss any part of this tutorial all right so i'm going to continue the same process until i get to the length i want and i'll be right back to show us how we can insert it and close it up all right so guys this is what we've got i have um have matted it to six layer all right i matted it to six layer and this is what it is looking like all right so now we are going to insert the bead to see you can see that So when we um, when we make the measurement and we don't make the right measurement, all right, it may not go in. It may it may not fit in properly. So you have to uh, make the measurement properly. So we need one more layer. 
to cover it up we need one more layer to cover it up all right so we we'll repeat the same process so i pick three seed bead just the same process all right So that's the last step, all right? Repeat the same process. Two seed bead. So I just go to, through the next bead immediately, all right? So we repeat this process until we cover this, the seventh layer, all right? So now we are covering the last, the last layer. Picking, by picking one bead, all right. And that is that. So we are done with the last layer. Now what we are going to do now is to close it, all right. Now to close it, we are going to work our needle through all of these 18 beads we are going to pass it into it two to three times all right to secure it properly all right we we'll work it through the beads like so now i'm going to just pull it see that so after you walk through it two to three times, you pull it and then we are going to just knot it, all right? So after knotting, I'm still going to secure this fire line, all right? If I cut it like so, it may lose up. So I'm just going to secure it again by passing it through some beads and once i pass it through some beads i'm just going to cut it out and repeat the same process for this so guys this is what we've got all right see how beautiful it is you can just adjust it the all like so to be in the middle and this is what we've got it is very easy if you have your materials with you all right that's it we, if it is this size this is how it's going to look like all right so here is what we've got all right see how beautiful they all look like so stay tuned in my next video i'm going to share with us how we can turn this to a beautiful necklace all right i i'm, I'm actually making this for my clients all right but i'm going to share with us how we can turn this to a beautiful necklace all right stay tuned all right thank you for watching my video i appreciate you all for your love and support and i appreciate your thumbs up and to your thumbs up and comment and if you are new here you are highly welcome please kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video to my returning subscribers i appreciate you all thank you for your support god bless you and i will see you all in my next video bye